I'm Adam. And I'm Tad. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Hey, Tad, do you celebrate Easter? Heck yeah, I do. How can you not be excited for an Easter egg hunt? You know, frogs, like bunnies and eggs, are all symbols for fertility. I wonder why the bunny got chosen over the frog. It's all a marketing ploy. Frogs are much better at jumping than rabbits. You can sell more plush toys if an animal is furry, though. That makes sense. I don't really think about holding a frog in my lap, petting it for hours on end. For some reason, people think that we're slimy, which just isn't the truth. In today's book, instead of the Easter bunny delivering eggs, there's a cat that's protecting its egg. Let's get started. Cat's Egg by Aparna Karthikeyan and Christine Castle. Woof, woof. Quiet there, says Cat. I'm hatching a kitten. Dog looks surprised. But, he says politely, that's not how it works. What do you know, scoffs Cat. You're a dog. Did you lay it? Dog asks, when Cat stretches and he sees underneath her tail a golden egg. I found it this morning when I woke up. I must have laid it in my sleep, Cat says, looking fondly at the egg. Isn't it the exact same shade as my fur? Dog shrugs. The egg seems a pale shade of yellow. Cat's fur is bright orange. Dog sits next to her basket. How long does it take to hatch a kitten? He asks. Oh, three days at least, Cat says. Isn't that very quick? Dog wonders. Baby crows take 18 days. Oh, Cat says, pretending not to be surprised, and adds quickly as she walks away. Listen, sit on my egg for a bit. I will be back after a little lunch. Dog looks at the egg for a full minute. He runs after Cat. I don't know how to do this, he pants. You need someone with experience. Ask Crow. You are so useless, Cat says, and carefully picks up the egg with her mouth. This cat is trying to leave already. It doesn't seem to have many nurturing instincts. You would think that if you just found out that you were having a baby, you'd be more excited. And spend time admiring the egg. When my son was born, my wife didn't want to leave him or let other people hold him, including myself. That's probably because he was actually her baby that she'd carried around in her belly for nine months. This cat seems to have just found an egg and claimed it as her own. Which, as Dog said, is not quite how it works. She walks to the garden and mules beneath the tree. Go away, cat! Crow calls. I need help, cat purrs, placing the egg carefully between her paws. I want you to watch my egg. A cat egg? That's a first, Crow says, peering at the eggs. Please, mind the egg, won't you? I need a snack and some sleep, cat says and starts to walk away. Hey, come back! There's no room in my nest, croaks squawks. Besides, all mine are blue and big. Yours is small and yellow. I can't take it in. Blue eggs and black feathers? Huh, cat sneers, picks up the egg and stalks off. The evening sun blazes. Cat is annoyed. She is peckish. Sleep plucks at her eyes and she feels a cat nap coming. <sighs> she hears cuckoo singing. She places the egg on the warm ground. Care to watch my egg for me? Asks Cat. Cuckoo whispers, I wouldn't know how. I lay mine in Crow's Nest. Two over there, she points at Crow's Nest, are mine. Won't she find out? Cat asks. Cuckoo shrugs and coos. All of us were raised by crows. Suddenly, Cat remembers the beach turtle planning a family. She picked up the egg, now hot and a little soft, and leaps over the garden wall. I still can't believe how soon Cat is trying to find a babysitter just so she can take a nap. We never paid a babysitter when my kids were little. We did have grandparents watch them for us occasionally, though. Most frogs lay thousands of eggs and then abandon them, leaving their fates up to chance. I guess that's true. As much as cats have a reputation for being apathetic, at least she isn't leaving the egg alone. 
Cat's truly trying to find someone to watch her egg. The cuckoo sure isn't going to do it. As brood parasites, cuckoos do not raise their own young, instead laying eggs in the nests of other birds, which raise the chick thinking it is one of their own. So, like a permanent nanny? No, it's more like a forced adoption scenario. Turtle, Cat says, I have a surprise for you. What is it? Turtle asks. Cat gently rolls the egg forward. Please keep it with yours, she purrs. I bury mine, Turtle says, and go back to the sea. I'll come in three days and pick up the kitten, Cat offers. Hmm, Turtle says, but your egg smells. Rubbish, Cat snaps. My egg is perfectly lovely. And it's gone all damp, Turtle points. Cat picks up the soggy egg and rushes back home. Dog, Cat wails, waking a sleeping dog. Dog, my egg is destroyed. Dog sniffs the egg. He pokes the damp bits. It peels away and underneath it's gooey and oozy and looks like it's melting. Cat, this is an Easter egg. It's a chocolate that small humans eat. It is melted in the sun. It would never have hatched into a kitten, Cat, Dog says gently. Oh, says Cat, orange fur turning red in embarrassment. Perhaps I should eat it then. No, says Dog. You'll get very sick if you do. Here, take my dinner. I saved it for you, he says. Next time, Cat says, curling up against Dog. I'll hatch it in the fridge. Anyway, what do you know? She adds, eyes closing. You're only a dog. Cat sure isn't very nice to dog. Yeah, he seems like a real stand-up guy. Yeah, he even saved dinner for her. All Cat wants to do is eat and sleep. Maybe she will become a little less selfish once she truly becomes a mom. Let's hope so. Speaking of hoping for things, I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I'm Adam. And I'm Dad. And this is Where There's a Williams, There's a Way. Did you know that chocolate is bad for pets? Chocolate smells and tastes yummy, doesn't it? But do you know that it's not good for our animal companions? Chocolate is safe for people, but it contains chemicals that are harmful to dogs and cats. Even small bites could make your pet very ill and can result in seizures or cause their kidneys to fail. So if your cat or dog asks for a bite of chocolate, remember that it's poisonous for them. Don't give them any. Oh, and make sure you stash those chocolate Easter eggs safely away out of paws reach.